Hey demons, it's your boy. So I just wanted to pop in today for a quick video and make an important announcement, or at least important to me. So those who have known me the longest have probably heard about Invisible Argyle Sweater. That's my super weird, out there, trippy electronic music project that I started when I was a teenager, and I have kind of kept it going ever since then in some form or another. So without going down too much of a rabbit hole there, I would like to announce that there will finally be a new Invisible Argyle Sweater release this year in 2020. So it's not exactly brand new material. What it is is a reboot album of sorts. A complete reimagination, new guitar tracks, new vocal tracks, new production. And I didn't really learn how to sing very good until a few years after that album too. So the main problem with it is the mix was very weak and the vocals were very weak back then in 2009. So I've done a lot to update it and I've done a lot to change it. See, I'm not 100% proud of this one. I don't think it's 100% perfect. But this project has been stuck in the realm of perfectionism forever. I have been putting this off for a super long time. The work that I have been putting into it has taken a while and I've had a hard time just calling it done and calling it finished. Um, I think that anybody who's been following along probably realized it's been about five years or so since I announced that I was working on this reboot project. So basically what I'm saying is it's time to release this one and get it out the door. I think it's sounding pretty good. I could sit there and tweak it for another six months or another five years if I really wanted to, but I'm not going to do that this time. This time we're going to send it out the door. It's going to happen pretty soon here within the next few weeks. Um, definitely before 2020 is over, I'll have released the entire album onto YouTube, at least. And this is not the only album from that project that I'm rebooting, either. I'm actually going through and I'm redoing everything. And there was even some unfinished material that I haven't even had a released album version yet, right? There's a few albums like that that still need a little bit of songwriting, a lot of recording, and all of the production behind it, too. So after I release this first reboot album, then the next one I'll be releasing is the 2012 album that I did, Nothing Ventured, which is also an Invisible Argyle Sweater album. And again, I just wasn't very competent back then in 2012 when I had first written these songs, so I'd really just like there to be, for the archives, just versions of all the stuff that I wrote that sounds decent, right? So I'm probably just as close on that second album. I think that they're pretty much so just about done. I just have to go back through and put the final finishing touches on the mixing process. Just make a few things a little bit louder, a little bit quieter here and there, and put the stamp of approval on it. So we can look at that one coming up probably in within the first few months of 2020. So without getting off on too much of a tangent here, I'll just say that the other album that I have coming down the pipeline after the second album would be the concept album. I have a nautical themed concept album. And that was never finished. It's about 75% there, so I have a little bit of work and uh, I'm actually kind of excited to finish that one up and bring some of my current modern day songwriting ideas and techniques into finishing some of that music and it's gonna be pretty cool. So that was the announcement part and now we'll get down to the future plans kind of part of this video. As Invisible Argyle Sweater, I would say is definitely part of the past now, but it is not gone forever. See, I'm doing this really strange, weird attempt at rebranding it into something new because I really like the concept behind it. I really like making glitchy electronic music with lots of noise and lots of random crap in it. But every time I've tried to perform it on a stage live, I just feel like it hasn't really gone very well. Like most of my tracks, if I wasn't playing an instrument along to it, they would be just as strong, probably, right? So then it's just I'm up there singing along to a backtrack and playing a few guitar parts here and there. It's just not really a lot for the audience to to watch or get into, right? So I want more of a high energy kind of stage show with this one. So I'm gonna make my songs like a little bit less on that crazy progressive rock side of thing, a little bit more like danceable, a little bit more sensible kind of beats that people can really get, you know, stuck in their head and really groove to and stuff, you know? And, you know, just in general for playing gigs, they'll do less of the weird mellow stuff and more high energy, you know, it's real like banger songs that people want to really get down to, and, you know, nobody wants to go out on a Saturday night and sit there and fall asleep, <laughs> you know, we want to dance, we want to party and stuff, so it'll be like Invisible Argyle Sweater, but more party, just a lot more accessible music with the same weird elements kind of still there as I did before, but kind of mixed in more subtly, more tastefully, 
like most of the song will be kind of catchy but then it'll have like that one super trippy bizarre part and i'm trying to make the guitar throw down a lot harder too i don't think there's really any point in doing this and being up on the stage with the guitar unless i'm doing something kind of interesting to it right because there's a whole backtrack i'm performing to if i just want to play some chords then i'll just make a synthesizer play the chords right so the guitars are going to be a lot riffier for sure, and I already have the first few songs this project, and they're, they've been quite a challenge to me as far as practicing them and getting them down up to speed, so I know that if it's hard for me to play right now, then it'll be rewarding when I can play it, and hopefully it'll be like a little bit more interesting than what I was doing beforehand. And just like with every weak attempt at rebranding your band, of course there has to be a name change to it too. So Invisible Argyle Sweater, or IAS, is now Maverick IC. There's a little bit of backstory behind the name, I guess, but the short version is that it's a little bit of a Mega Man X reference. You know, like video game series Mega Man X, but we'll talk about that again some other time. So anyway, like I said, I'm working on the new material now while I have a lot of free time and stuff, and uh, there are definitely plans to take this on stage and play some Maverick IC gigs. Hopefully this next year, or whenever the pandemic restrictions are lifted. I've been talking to some of my friends in the business who also do electronic type of music, so I'm going to try to set up some all electronic shows around the western Washington area. You know, probably not Seattle, but hopefully Olympia, um, almost certainly Aberdeen, and I'm just going to try to get out there a few different places. Like as soon as we're allowed to gig again, I want to try to get the electronic people together and uh, you know, not try to push this stuff at rock shows. So, so that was what I was doing before, like I would go and play with a bunch of punk rock bands and a bunch of metal bands, and everybody would be waiting for the guitars and the drums to start, and you know, they'd just do me a favor and they book me as the opening act, right? And you know, all the, all the kids who want to go there and listen to some heavy metal, they're just kind of waiting through my set. And I'd be like, yeah, let's play some spooky trip-hop jams, guys. Like, then nobody's really into it, so I want to see if I can uh, actually like foster a little bit of a community around the electronic music and the live performance of it and stuff. And there's some really cool talent out here in the local area too. People I've gigged with before, there's some people I've only heard online, but we have some plans and we're going to make some cool stuff happen as soon as we possibly can. Anyway, that's all I got to say. Hopefully I didn't ramble on too long and bore the crap out of everyone. I just got pretty excited that I'm going to finally release this reboot album. And, uh, you know, you want to shout out about your stuff ahead of time and get people expecting it. You don't want to just drop it on the day of and be like, Oh yeah, by the way guys, look, I just dropped this whole album. Surprise! <laughs> so, uh, anyway, that's all. Thanks everybody for watching. Hope you all have a good time out there. Stay safe, stay sane, and I'll catch you next time.